Hi everyone, I'm Igor and this is Makini Podcast. My guest for today's podcast, Lois, ex-volunteers at Smakini Foundation. How are you, Lois? I'm fine. Thank you very much. And thank you for inviting me. Thank you, you too, because you agreed to participate in our Smakini podcast. And my first question, it's about you. Tell you about yourself. Who are you? Where are you from? So, as you said, my name is Lois. I'm uh, living currently in France. I'm 29 years old and I just came back to my country after finishing one year volunteering in Bulgaria in Smokinia Foundation. Before that, I was in a supermarket work. I was in many positions as a cashier, as a manager. And in 2021, I decided to stop everything and to go abroad for one uh, life experience as a volunteer in another country. Good. Thank you. I think now we know more about you. And uh, I think most people interested also your experience as a volunteer at Smokini Foundation. Could you share a short story of your volunteering at Smokini Foundation? So my journey in Smokini Foundation started in January 2021. I was full of uh, good uh, attention because, as I said previously, I wanted to change something in my life to, to do something more useful for the community and uh, for the Europe, and also for me. I wanted to involve what I know before and what I learned in my life in other organization. So my experience at Smokinia Foundation was full of surprise, let's say, because I was surprised by people that I met, by myself. I really liked to discover the work in uh, one uh, NGO in Europe, mostly in uh, Bulgaria, in uh, Eastern of Europe. So, yeah, and it was for me the opportunity to develop many skills, many knowledge, many beliefs that I had before to question myself about some truths that uh, my experience confirmed on or changed them. So, yeah, my experience in one year was really useful for me, for my project, for my professional project. I discovered I mean, I arrived in Smokinia Foundation without any expectation about what I will learn during one year and what I will do. And uh, when I left Smokinia in December 2021, I was like uh, full of idea and full of project for me and for the youth in Europe. So I can say that it was a really good and successful uh, experience for me. But uh, I think your project was like change for you. But at the same time, it was uh, you got a lot of experience. Because uh, yeah. if, uh, when you arrived here, it was pandemic. I think it was lockdown. And for most of people, it was difficult. But you decided yeah. to go here. Yeah, but the situation was worse in France, actually. Because in France, there was a lockdown at six. You have to be at home. You cannot go outside after 6 p.m. And in Bulgaria, the regulation were, was more uh, soft, let's say. There, there was uh, only lockdown. Uh, in a bar and a restaurant, but still you you can be a bit more free than uh, in France. And mm -hmm. it doesn't change anything because the, even uh, during the lockdown, maybe the first uh, months of my volunteering was calm, but the situation gets uh, better and then the work uh, came again and there was a, a lot of work to do. So I didn't feel uh, any restriction about uh, the COVID situation, let's say. It, doesn't uh, limit the smoking your work. And uh, talking about volunteering and uh, expectation from your project, also I want to ask you about your idea of volunteering because sometimes people can't understand what is that. And my question, what idea of volunteering did you have before you went to project and how did your idea change of when you were already on project? So. My idea before the project was, as a volunteer, to give my time, just to spend time and to help uh, Smokinia Foundation in its daily work, daily, not daily, but mostly event, uh, any kind of activity that Smokinia can organize by bringing my, uh, my knowledge and my skill that I learned during my previous work and the previous experience. But you know, 
Smokinia, it's a learning platform. So I came in Bulgaria with the idea that I will help. But after one year uh, with Smokinia Foundation, I noticed that they helped me a lot because this project, the project was to develop, help me to develop myself personally and uh, professionally by giving, by taking part on uh, Smokinia everyday task. I mean, Smokinia, it was hard to understand before because in a volunteering, there is many topics that they can uh, implement, but Smokinia, it's an area to try. I mean, there is no limit about the, what you can try in Smokinia Foundation. And even when you take part in some small tasks, let's say small uh, daily tasks like uh, emailing or receiving people and talk with people, then after some time, you notice that you you improve many skills and many knowledge just by talking with people, just by uh, hosting people to different events. And then step by step, because in the beginning, you are just like a spectator, let's say. And after some uh, time with Smokinia Foundation, you become the actor. And then you have to, I mean, it's not that you have to, but you choose to organize events. And then you you do it by yourself because the method of Smokinia Foundation is learning by doing, which means that, uh, as I said, you can you can do everything you want, but you just have to take the initiative to try it and to, mm-hmm. to want it. And uh, it doesn't matter about the... Uh, I mean, the result is not important. If you are really motivated to improve it or to improve yourself, then uh, maybe your first event will be not so successful. But uh, if you really want to make it successful, then you will try again and you will learn how to make it differently uh, for the next one and how to improve it for the next one to make it successful. So yeah, my my idea about volunteering changed a lot because I discover many things and I used to say like it's where, like in sport, you know, when you make a training, you know, you are pushing uh, some uh, fitness uh, stuff. Then you don't see the result uh, one or two days after. You see the result months after months, how your body is changing. Then it's the same with uh, my volunteering experience. I can notice after one year how much I change, how much I uh, change my mind, my uh, way of thinking, my way of doing uh, and organizing uh, stuff. And this is thanks to Smokinia Foundation because they give me the, the place to try it and they push me to try it. Thank you. Uh, talking about maybe it's, we can call it benefits. I mean, yeah. what you receive from your project in Bulgaria, like benefits or benefits, benefits you know, benefits for myself or benefit uh, from this volunteering. Uh, like for because, you, for you. Ah, for me, I'm after one year, uh, I feel more say, self-confident, and I. I'm not afraid anymore because before I was maybe afraid about making mistake about don't know how to do this, how to organize this. But the <clears throat> Smokinia Foundation gave me the place and my vol- volunteering experience gave me the opportunity to discover what I'm capable of. And just by giving me the space to try, giving me the opportunity to use the material of Smokinia Foundation, like a camera, computer, also the contact with network, uh, with partner in Europe to practice English writing, English uh, communication. I can say that the big benefit is I feel more safe, confident in my project. When I want to start something, when I want to, when I want to organize something, when I want to do something, I feel more like just, okay, let's try and see how it goes. Not maybe before uh, the my volunteering i was more like scared about trying or to making mistake now i'm more focused about okay mistake it's uh, okay just uh, i'm more focused about looking for a way to to do in another way to make a better result or at least a result that i that i like cool i think it's more important when you can feel more confident yeah no. More confident and less afraid about uh, trying, and because I try many stuff that I never tried before, Smokinia Foundation and my volunteering experience. And today, after uh, this volunteering experience, it's, I can notice that it's really useful, and I'm more like uh, 
confident about uh, trying new stuff and uh, make a new initiative, let's say, to take initiative even in a, uh, yeah, in some task that I really know and I'm not so comfortable with it, but to keep going because I want to, to be comfortable, then I think with practice I can be more comfortable. But also to try something that I never tried before. If someone is asking me, I don't know, to cook uh, a new recipe or to go in uh, other city by myself alone, I feel more confident and I'm uh, more looking for uh, how to do it in a good way than, oh, like uh, I used to be before, like, no, I don't want to go somewhere else because I don't know the city. I don't know how the local transport is working and blah, blah, blah. Now I'm more like uh, focused on the, on a solution, let's say. Because uh, I know many people who want, who only want to try to go away as volunteer, but uh, they don't confident in this opportunity. Yeah, but like you said, and after my volunteering, I used to say it a lot, just try and let's see what's happen. And this is my advice for my, now my family, my friends are more like, you know, this, uh, not psychologue, but I don't know how to say, the guy, under the shoulder who is like just try just try and uh, see what's up and make your own uh, conclusion think about uh, what you did and uh, if you are satisfying by the result or no it's okay but really just try and see what's happened let's continue to talk about your project i've read a lot of uh, articles ex volunteer who has finished their project and for them it was so difficult to realize project was finished talking about you how was it for you to realize that your project finished uh, i can't uh, lie let's say because i was really afraid about go back to my country and uh, just sit on the sofa and okay now it's finished what else what can i do i, I was really afraid about it so i was looking for many way to keep involved uh, even with smoking Air foundation or some local uh, NGO here in uh, in my country. It, it was not hard to understand that my project was finished. Uh, actually, this is the life. And I knew before that it was for one year. Even we don't know what could happen, but I, it was uh, clear in my mind that it's only for one year. But yeah, I was in a way maybe to maybe scared about, let's say, the new life in France after my volunteering. Like how I can avoid this uh, situation to be just uh, like this without any work because I really enjoy to work for Smokinia Foundation. And I, I was a bit sad about the end because I was really comfortable, really, really enjoy it every day, my work there. Uh, I felt really useful for Smokinia and for the Bulgarian uh, youth people. So I, yeah, I was scared. But as I learned during Smokinia Foundation, to be scared, it's okay. But uh, you, if you want to change it, then you have to take action and to find a way to to do it as you want. So I decided to keep involved with uh, Smokinia Foundation, to work for some local uh, NGO, to don't stay in the sofa without doing anything, to keep going and practice what did I learned and to to left. Because I left, uh, before I left uh, Bulgaria, I fit some uh, plan and some goal for myself. Then it helped me a lot to take action once I was back in my country. I think we can continue with the question. Looking back, would you decide to go again on EC project as a volunteer? You mean after I know this? I mean after I know that this experience it's uh, really cool and useful, or based on what I lived, uh, if I would like to do it again? Would you like to do it again? Or no? to, uh, for me, there is no difference to do it again or to keep involved in some uh, other organization. It was like my volunteering experience were, was like a first step. They show me how this uh, European Solidarity Corp and uh, even Erasmus uh, Plus program community is uh, important and uh, f- really meaningful. So to do it again as a volunteer, uh, I think I'm done uh, as a volunteer, but to keep involved and to to make uh, my professional way in this area, it's one of my goals. I mean, to be a volunteer, I cannot be volunteer. I mean, 
if I can't, if I want, I can. But what is the point to be volunteer? At some point, uh, you have to eat, to pay rent, to pay car. I don't know. You unfortunately, you have to earn money. So, but to keep involved in this world and to make it uh, my work, let's say, and my uh, profession, this is uh, one of my plans. Mm -hmm. It's more like a long term, uh, life term volunteering. It means you understood what you want to do after your volunteering project yeah last questions for you was it's <clears throat> could you give some advice for those who want to go on their first project for the people who can be scared about uh, mm -hmm. going then i just want to say that it's normal to be scared i was scared also because it was my first time abroad my first time with a uh, in another country my english was not so good but i um, feel like after one year actually i did it it was really successful and if i did it anybody can do it i don't like so much to give uh, advice to say oh you should go or you shouldn't go for this or that reason but uh, like i said before just if you really want to do it just try and see what's happen i can promise like it will change you not as you think but maybe in a worse way or I think more in a better way. But this experience, it's uh, a way to be more aware about the European uh, community, the culture awareness, and many other topics, just by meeting people, talking with them, taking action to organize an event. You will discover about yourself a lot, about what you are capable of. And uh, even today, you're not feeling like, okay, you, you know how to do this or this or that then you will find support and realize that actually you are capable of to organize and to make a great stuff for uh, the local community in, uh, or even in uh, international impact. So yeah, just uh, jump on the sea and uh, try and see what's happened. This is, let's, let's be surprised by, by yourself and by the other. It's just what I can say. Okay. Thank you so much Lewis, that you participate in our podcast. Thank you very much. I think your volunteering it was cool for you and you received a lot of experience. Thank you. Thank you very much.